my goodness. I'm tired. I'm so tired. I'm gonna need all y'all to step up to the front. Step up to the front. <sighs> Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another video. If you're new here, I hope you like it and love it enough to stay. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome, family. Your favorite page decides to fall asleep when I make up on, so. We're gonna do a full skincare routine. I don't usually do that because I just like, what happened? <laughs> Samila and I got so turned yesterday. Oh my goodness, but it was so good. And I know that she hasn't like, I had a night out in like a long time. Oh my goodness, my voice is mad dry speed. Guys, it's the morning. You're the first people I'm talking to. I think it's about like half past six right now. I was just like, girl, girl, you forgot to do, you forgot to even take off your lashes. <laughs> I am so used to individuals that I don't even, you know what, let's get straight into it. It's called Clean Clean Genie Cleansing Butter. So I'm gonna start with this cleansing butter over here. And I'm just gonna apply it all over my face just to melt my makeup off before I actually begin. Cape Town has been so good to us so far. Let me wash my hands because where your hands been girl. I was saying Cape Town has been so good to us, we've been having so much fun. We're even able to get to Sumeria and Nani, which may, has made life like so much easier for us to like move around. And our Nani is great, like that lady is just so sweet. I'm just so happy that she was able to find um, a Nani that she's comfortable with, you know? Oh my god. Oh my god. So I'm happy we were able to get a nanny that she's happy with, you know. But yeah, Cape Town has been good to us. I won't lie. However, I have been suffering from a bit of anxiety. I do know why I'm suffering from it. I've been going through some things, you know. So I'm, I've been suffering from a bit of anxiety, but I'm dealing with it. I'm dealing with it slowly, slowly. More than anything, it has to do do with an insecurity I've been feeling, you know. You don't always go through the feelings that you specifically want to go through. Your lips are so dry. But yeah, relationships are tough, guys. Yo, Mujolo, leave that thing. <laughs> leave that thing. <coughs> Can't go out. <laughs> what I really enjoy about like a melting butter, I know that um makeup melt, I'm not sure what it's called. I know that Holmes also has like a really nice one for makeup if you are looking for it, but I just find it so easy, like I don't have to go through the hassle of making a mess with my makeup. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm just gonna wipe this off with a wet cloth. A warm wet cloth. I'm gonna rinse, wipe this all off. Let me see the rinse. Please look at that, like literally my makeup is off. And it makes it so much easier, it's cleaner. I think 
once this one finishes, it's gonna take a long time to finish. Because also I don't usually I just pop in the shower and I don't like do my full skincare routine outside of the shower. So I'll do half of it in the shower and then the other half obviously out of the shower. Okay, I'm going to cleanse my skin now with this Eucerin um, Blemish Prone Skin Derma Purifying Oil Control. I really love this product. I've been using it for some time now. It's really good for acne prone skin and just like I think oily skin altogether. But more than anything, like I'll show you some pictures. I had some really bad acne, which left me with like marks over here. So like my cleanse has been really good to me because where do you do? <laughs> yeah, my cleanse has been really amazing to me and also when I had like super bad acne I literally switched up my whole skincare routine like from my cleanser to my moisturizer literally everything like yeah I had a go I just felt like also my skin products weren't certainly like concentrated on the type of skin I had because I generally always had like good skin if you feel me So I bought like more skin products that were specifically for my skin type and just analyzing my skin and how it reacts to certain things. So I'm happy with my cleanser. I won't even lie to you. My mom was saying I must change because I'm getting older and obviously I need to take better care of my skin. What did that lady say I must use? I don't know, it was something expensive. I was like, child, that's just way too expensive. Like, I can't be spending that much on my skincare routine. But I mean, eventually, how we know. I really enjoy um, washing my face with my hands because it allows me to feel what's happening on my skin. And then I can then decide then what am I doing? Am I going to um, do an extraction or when I do my full skincare routine? Like, whatever. And I also just like to really like rub in my cleanser for some time. Because I feel like if you quick to just like put your cleanser on and then wash your face off, you don't really get like deep into your pores, removing like whatever it is that's like block them. For instance, my makeup. <laughs> so I just like to rub, rub it into my skin for just like a minute, you know? Okay, I'm gonna go and rinse that off. I've had these lashes. You know, after you've like done individuals and I think I'm tired of them. So like I literally have like two lashes on that side, I got like a couple on the other side, I look crazy. I look mad as hell. So now that I'm done cleansing my face, I'm gonna wet it again with some warm water. Just to open up my pores because I'm about to do like a scrub. So I'm just placing like some hot water over my skin also just to get it like a bit wet so my scrub can sit well we are going to exfoliate child and this is the exfoliate i'm going to use in the plus five exfoliate um it's a glycolic scrub fix um i think it also has salicylic acid in it so those are just generally good for like blackheads and they tackle your blackheads and i think whiteheads too salicylic more salicylic acid i think um deals more with blackheads yeah so salicylic acid cleanses your pores so it just goes deep inside and then glycolic acid it says here gently exfoliates and retextures the skin so like, i know that this has salicylic acid in it for my blackheads because it's an acne prone um, product so probably just look for things like that and have salicylic acid if you do have like acne prone skin this does when i bought it i didn't know it had beads in it i thought it was like a gentle exfoliator but it's not it's a tiny bit harsh on your skin not harsh i mean not lie to you it has like tiny micro beads you literally can't feel them but yeah let just screw up. see why i was wetting my face a bit because this 
scrub is a bit dry if I just put it on directly without wetting it. I really like that girl that does that did my hair. Like I think I'm as obsessed with her as I'm obsessed with how April does hair. Like I am so obsessed with how April does hair. I am such a darn fan. <laughs> I really am. And if you do use a face cloth on your skin, make sure like you gently wipe. Like, don't be aggressive on your shit. use this one let's use this girl okay so you just apply the milk it's called hip milk yeah. <laughs> this has a bit of fragrance in it I mean it's not too bad but yeah it's just really strong if anything Um, it says you must leave it on for like two seconds before you start scrubbing. I really enjoy this thing, guys. Like yo, you'll see what it what it is when it starts working. Wait, it's ten to fifteen seconds, then gently massage skin for about thirty seconds until you feel a light exfoliation effect, which is like the big. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think it's ready. Actually see the gum coming in my hands like all those white things that I kept doing my feet. They kept going in my nose looking like a bugger. So <laughs> that is literally like all the gunk coming out of, out of your skin. And I like to like rub it in until like the product is finished. Like I don't think you're supposed to do that, but that's how I do it. <laughs> But I'll do this thing until my skin goes black like red, 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 red. It kind of reminds me of like an oil pool. So good. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls have big lips. <laughs> you guys, and like, I have a very bad cough that I got last week. It's fading away, but you know, I'm so sick. Like, 
but I've had COVID like twice already, so it's just like whatever sickness we have, we can fight, child. I think I probably had COVID now, but you know what? You know what? I'm gonna go in with a sheet mask. This is a sheet mask that I got from a Korean place that I've been talking about in four ways and has really amazing skincare. So we are gonna use a brightening mask. <laughs> I haven't done a mask in a long time. So this is amazing. Yo, this thing is. I really like these masks. I think because it's just Korean skincare. Like, you know, like, you just brag about skincare. Like, Korean skincare, like, it's the shit. Because, like, those Koreans really be having some good ass skin, boy. Like, where y'all find that? Is it on Amazon? <laughs> Like, look at this mask, guys. It covers my top lip. Like, it covers my lip. You know how you get like blackheads around your lip? Like, this is so amazing because now I know that whatever happened around my lip, this mask got me. Like, it sits so well on your face. Guys, I'm telling you, the Koreans are onto something when it comes to the skincare shit. Like, I'm just gonna spread that on and. I'ma see y'all in about like 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, so. A few moments later. I come back. I'm gonna brush my teeth. I'm gonna use my favorite toothpaste. Yo, don't ask me why my teeth so white, cause I just plucked y'all in those two seconds. So let me give you a pro tip on brushing your teeth. Do not rinse. See how I didn't gargle water and I didn't, um, trust me, do not rinse your mouth. Also because um, if I'm not using this toothpaste, then I'm using Colgate. And they have, I use like the whitening one, so the red box, Colgate red box, oh my goodness, you better get yourself there. Do not get the one that comes with the blue on it. So it's the red box and it has like a blue toothpaste. Do not get that one because that one is messy and it stains everything. Like I don't get it, but everything's gonna turn blue. So the red ones. So I use like teeth whitening activating toothpaste. Like that's my favorite thing. So if you rinse after brushing your teeth, you are taking out the properties that are have like the literally to sit on your teeth to do the white, to activate the whitening. So if you rinse that off, um, surely it's gone. So in those seconds that you brush your teeth, it will not activate the whitening. Using it every day, yes, will eventually activate the whitening, but it's more potent. You know, we, we love potency. We, we, we like to go over the edge. <laughs> so if you want your whitening toothpaste to work better, don't rinse your mouth. I'm not like fantasy, but just don't rinse your mouth. I think I've even seen a TikTok I will google the shit for you and put it up don't rinse your mouth brush your mouth rinse your tongue and be good with it so you can have them extra pearly whites number three don't rinse after brushing a small amount of toothpaste is supposed to stay on the surface of your teeth especially fluoride toothpastes that have a protective effect just spit out the excess and now you know how to brush your teeth period that's what i'm gonna say because i've been i've been, I've been, I've been <laughs> Don't rinse your mouth. It's 
just so unnecessary. You don't need to do that. Okay, I'm ready to take this mask off. Gorgeous, gorgeous colors of amazing glowing skin. And there's some poop. start breaking out breakout clearing all over toner so i'm not a fan of um cotton pad toner wipe no i'm not a fan of that and also i feel like it makes my skin a little bit more oilier and that makes me prone to breakouts so i don't want none of that so i think that this is really good like i love mists they feel refreshing more than anything like before i put my my actual um moisturizer on girl No, it feels like that extra hydration without actually hydrating. So I really enjoy that toner. Guys, my skin feels so good and so refreshed. How you gonna sleep like that? Mm. How you gonna do yourself dirty? Don't rinse, boy. Don't rinse. <coughs> oh. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go in my with um some bins like AC5 gel, it's benzyl, benzyl peroxide, and this like really helps with drying out my acne spots. Like this girl saved me when I had acne. Like Oh my god. I don't think I I don't know where I would have been if it wasn't for this girl. Like she helped me so much. How you're supposed to use this product is applied specifically to your spots. But like I'm just trying to prevent the acne. So I apply it everywhere. And also I think this thing is pretty strong, but I think like my skin has adapted to the strength of the product. Cause like it literally like dries out your skin. So I just put that all over because Firstly, when I had acne, my acne was all over. Now, I'm trying to prevent the acne. I gotta put this shit all over. You get me? <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> you get me? You understand, girl? Okay, this, this product does not have a name anymore. I've had it for a very long time. But it's an Elizabeth Arden um, <coughs> eye cream. Very little under my eye. I don't really have the reason why I've had this product for so long is I don't feel like I have like under eye problems or eye problems, but I mean, once in a while I do, um, you know, take care of. My under eyes, I'm not like a baggy, I'm not a bags person. I don't get like dark circles under my eyes. Like my eyes are really good to me. So that's like once in a while, you know. God bless me. That's what he did. Okay, I am going to go in with the Derm Oval Moisturizing Sunscreen. This is anti-aging, anti-pigmentation. This is my motherfucking best friend. Sunscreen is my motherfucking best friend. I have to say it like that and emphasize because this shit is my best friend. For my dark marks, listen, it did. Like, guys, if you have dark marks and like you have uneven skin tone, whatever, I'm telling you, you don't need to look far, look wide. Apply sunscreen every single day of your life. And you will see the change in your skin so anyway so i've been using the sunscreen i have been wanting to change to like a 50 plus 
because it's obviously better but i'm using this only comes in a 30 plus and this is my favorite sunscreen i've been using this literally ever since i would say grade 10 my mom put me onto this and i've never looked back you know i really enjoy it i enjoy how it feels on my skin guys this is like oh and it's apparently like a black owned south african brand if i am wrong shoot me down god but <laughs> don't shoot me down but like apparently and that like makes me happy you know to know that the sunscreen is amazing usually i'll like put a lot on a lot more than that i'm still gonna shower at some point and apply again so i put a lot more on Okay, so I want to show you guys. I applied more on, and it does leave like a little. This one I want to show you. It does. Oh, so sorry. So it does leave a little bit of a white cast, but it is so amazing because it just like sinks into the skin, and then your skin just becomes a gorgeous, gorgeous girl's type of skin. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. Lastly, I was supposed to do this before my sunscreen actually, but it's okay. Um, I forget. <laughs> also, because I usually use this in the nighttime more than I do in the morning, and this is like my morning skincare routine. That's why I forgot. So I usually use this, this is a, a new, so this is a wishful, I got it when I was going, getting the, um, the makeup melt butter thing. So this is Get Even Rose Oil. I know that Rose Ship Oil, is Rose Hip, yeah, I think it's Rose Hip Oil, is really good for um, also acne and dark marks, removing dark marks. So I wanted to try this. My best friend for when I want to use an oil is usually like jojoba jojoba oil. Guys, that thing is amazing on your skin. But I was just like, let me try something else because the gorgeous, gorgeous girls rave about rose hip, you know? Rose oil, get even rose oil. I'm gonna put very little on top of my sunscreen because I've already put sunscreen on. Here's a drop there. A drop here. Very little drop, okay. Let's make it work with that drop. Two drops. Oh, it's mad thick. Just to give ourselves that morning glow. I'll probably rinse this oil off later because my skin gonna be oily for the day if I don't. Like I said, it's mostly part of my nighttime routine, the oil, because you want to sleep looking like a crispy cream donut chap. <laughs> okay. And I am done with my morning skincare routine. I'm going to apply some eight hour cream, Elizabeth Arden eight hour cream. You know, this is my favorite product like of all time. I've been using eight hour cream since matric. That was when I stole my first bottle from my mom and I never looked back. It's been my best friend ever since. So I keep this one in my toiletry bag. I have one that's like five to be fit five to being finished in my makeup bag. And then I have one full one and a new full one. Thank the heavens, we can afford those type of things in my handbag. That's my best friend, y'all. Um, my lips look so good because eight hour we thank the lord for eight hour cream without you we wouldn't have been this gorgeous your name amen <laughs> and that is it for my skincare routine i hope you guys really enjoyed this video i hope i taught you something please comment share and like and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out